it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Bounty Hunter, Episode 3. We're on our way to the Imperial Fleet, because that's what my mission says so. And then, of course, as usual, we're making our way to Dromund Cass. So I'm going to be trying to do this series every Monday, perhaps? I don't know, it's kind of... I don't know, it feels right to do it every Monday. The sort of idea I wanted to go with is that one day I want to bring back the Bounty Hunter... Ooh, uh, what outfit should we go for Mako? I wanted to wear something a bit dark. Yeah, let's give it that. Oh, level 10! Beautiful. Um, I kind of wanted to, um, bring back the Bounty Hunter, um, series for, like, the, the, the Star Wars Bounty Hunter game with, um, is it Django Fett? Yes, Django Fett. Um, but, uh, yeah, that'd be a bit difficult. So, so because, of course, I'm moving. There's no point in doing that right now. But maybe I'll bring that back and do, like, Mondays and Fridays as Bounty Hunter sort of days. I don't know. Cause that'd be cool. Because, you know, having, having the Swotor Bounty Hunter on a Monday and then the game Bounty Hunter on a Friday. Doesn't that sound cool? I mean, it did for me. The fleet is eerily quiet. Oh, I was going to say, it's eerily quiet. It's because there's no music. There we go. Ooh. Bounty Contract Week. Ooh. Um... I mean, I'm going to Drum and Cast anyway. Nah, nah. Focus on the main mission, Charlie. You're focusing on the main mission. I mean, we could go the way of the Black Talon, but, uh... Nah, I think I'll just go the the regular, dull way. Dude, I remember reading something on Reddit, though. How... I think it was like somebody had posted an infographic of, you know, all the eight class stories, but, say, you know... The Sith warrior ended up on Drum and Cass and did, and he was the one that did the Drum and Cass planetary storyline. And then maybe I don't know the Jedi consular did the Taris planetary storyline. I don't know what it exactly was, but that intrigued me to make me want to possibly do that on another server. And then you know, because because that that way your character hasn't done everything. Your character has only done tidbits. Here and there, which may come up in the future. What's that? It's very, oh, it's this pit. It's very janky. That, yeah. But it just, I don't know, it just intrigued me. It seemed like a really cool idea. I don't know why I brought it up, but it just seemed like a cool idea. Where's Mako gone? Come on, Mako! Oh, three seconds to check in. Ugh, spaceports all smell the same. Engine exhaust, coolant fluid, and spacers who haven't bathed in a week. Let's get out of this stink. Whatever the rest of Drummondkos is like, the air has got to be fresher than in here. It still smells better than Hutta. That's like saying a girl's slimmer than a hut. Just a reminder, this is an imperial world, which means rules, rules, and more rules. If we tweak the local authorities, they can make life really hard. I like tweaking with authority. How did I know you were going to say that? Come on, the Mandalorian Enclave is in the Citadel. Our contact is someone named Krista Markon. You knew I was going to say that because you know me so well. Even though we've only kind of known each other for a few days, in theory, kind of. I mean, something tells me I'm going to be very predictable. I am going to be so predictable. Where am I taking this bounty as well? Because, of course, I've got Albia's bounty. Uh, and I'm somehow carrying her body mind. Uh, right, so I need to travel to Dremcast there and bounty goes there. But something tells me we're going to be going over there anyway because that's where the, uh, the Mandalorians hang out. On German cast, the bounty hunters, where the great hunt headquarters are. Wait, 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 wait. 503? My alignment to dark is 503. I always thought it went up in, I don't know, fives or tens, not three. Oh, wait, because of course, oh, because of course you've got this up now, you can have four set, you know, you can have any amount of force now. It could be three, it could be two, it just depends on what you're doing. That's a bit odd, but oh well. I'm going to go there, but I bet you anyone I'm going to land there. It's going to be like, go to the far top left corner of the map. I'll be like, well, I was going to go there anyway, but you told me to go into the middle. So you'll never guess what as well. I've been reading. <gasps> I know, me, read books. I know, I can't believe it myself. I've actually been reading books. I've actually been reading the, um, the Rogue One novels, the Catalyst and the... Actual novelization of the movie. I can't even say the word. Now I am reading books. So, hope to expect a review of that at some point. I do want to do a review of it. Um, 
because I don't know, they're, they're, they're really good books. Catalysts are finished, and the Rogue One, I'm near the end. I'm like, on the lap. See, try one. See? You're both going up there anyway. Um, yeah, so they're both really good books, and in Rogue One book, I'm kind of on like the last part, sort of the last planet final thing, which I won't spoil if you haven't seen Rogue One, though, if you haven't seen Rogue One. Ready for departure. You should be ready for departure to leave this planet Earth. You know? Hey, I got a bounty to claim. I'm here to claim the bounty on this Republic scientist. Name's Albea. Albia, you say? One moment. Yes, here. Wanted dead. You certainly fulfilled that part. Give me a moment to verify her identity. Very good. Here's your dispensation. Now, if you don't mind, I need to call for someone to clean this up. Oh, it's a good job there's nobody else named Albea. Okay, there. Woo! I got credits and dark side points. Beautiful. And I got 11 dark side points there, so yes. Just depends on what you're doing. Now, if I remember rightly, Krista is the lady with the mohawk. Isn't she? I always found her quite ugly. Sorry, if if you if you if you if you actually have a mohawk, I no. I'm sorry if you have a mohawk, but I just don't like. I don't see the point in mohawks. I just don't. <laughs> and then I told him, "You think that's cold? You should see what I did to the Gamorian. I never saw a Rodian run so fast in my." Oh, sorry, sweetie, oh. didn't see you there. What can I do for you? Well. We are here for the great hunt. We've been sponsored by Nemro the Hut. Yes. An all-girls hunter team. Good for you. How long you two been partners? I mean, I know, I know you're, you're a woman yourself, but that sounded a bit sexist. Hey. Okay. Hello. Uh oh. My internet's gone kafuddle. Cause that's what my internet does these days. Hello. I'll be back once it's sorted itself out. We're not here to chat. Oh, there Let's we go. To business. Just being friendly. You should appreciate it where you find it. You probably ain't gonna like what I'm about to tell you. But there's nothing I can do about it, understand? There's one spot left open in the Great Hunt. And over three dozen hunters who got sponsorships. Those other hunters can go home. That spot is mine. It's yours if you can get it. Lots of folks will be thinking the same thing, though. The Huntmaster himself will explain how we're going to sort things out. Head into the main room and show some respect. When the Huntmaster's done talking, come on back in here. I'll be handling you from here on out. Show some respect? Nah, no, I was just going to walk in there calling a big twat. You know? Hello, Huntmaster. Quiet! Quiet, you dogs! The Huntmaster is about to speak. Pay attention and show some respect for once in your lives. The great hunt is upon us. Many will hunt, many will die. All will win glory or honor. Today, we have too many hunters. All must compete. Only one joins the great hunt. You heard the Huntmaster. You're competing for the last spot in the great hunt by taking down three bounties on Droman Koss. Easy. You expect us to hunt here with Imperials crawling all over us and Sith? I mean, it is Bounty Contract Week. I mean, come on now. Also, Huntmaster, you're twat! Never met anybody who's blaster proof. The jungles here are secluded and dark. We'll have all the privacy we need. For all you overblown, useless, no-talent cowards, we installed a handy exit door. Use it now! Oh, okay. Oh. The rest of you, okay. the real hunters, go see your handlers. They'll get you oriented to the planet and assign you three unique bounties. Everyone who takes down all three of their bounties wins a spot in the final melee. Anyone who doesn't get all three is out. Hunting on Drummond Koss? That's suicide. I'm grabbing the first shuttle out of here. I suggest you do the same, friend. You'll be one less body for me to step over. At least you got the attitude right. Don't expect this world to roll over for you, though. I'm done here. May your quarry fall before you, Hunter. Bye! Well, what are you standing around for? Back to your handler. That's Krista for you, new blood. I mean, are you seriously telling me that there was a whole bunch of... Oh, by the way, where's, that, where's the door? 
I said there was a special door over there. I don't see it. Okay. Um, you gotta think, all these people that got a sponsorship and they've just given up, just like that. I mean, their sponsors are gonna be pretty miffed. A dozen cowards just scurried out of here. Probably won't stop till Droman Kaus is light years behind him. You understand the basics, right? Three bounties, hardest targets on Droman Kaus. Gotta get all three to qualify for the final melee. This is the best job in the galaxy. Ooh, I like you. You're even crazier than the rest of these hunters. Now let's see who your first target is. Whoa, this can't be right. You've got enemies among the Mandalorians or something? Uh... Just Taro Blood, the Mandalorian who killed Brayden. What'd he do? What's the job? I wouldn't wish this bounty on anybody. Gotta play the hand you're dealt, though. The target's a Republic noble named Valtaka. He got captured during an Imperial raid, brought back here, and sold into slavery by mistake. Why was selling him into slavery a mistake? He should have been ransomed, but Altaka wasn't properly identified when he got captured. Altaka's slave group was building a big old statue in the jungle. The slaves rebelled and took over the site. Nobody can get in there. We don't even know if he's still alive. If he is, the family will pay big. Easy jobs bore me. You've got confidence. I can give you that. The slaves got themselves a tent camp near that statue they never finished. If Altaka's still kicking, he's probably somewhere in there. Before you go, meet your new best friend. The S86K full gauge carbonite armor upgrade. Hi, you can't friend. shoot a fella with this while he's springing around. It's too slow to charge up. But once that fella ain't resisting, say, after a good long beating, the S86K will freeze him for transport. What was that? <laughs> With her left arm. Right. I do love getting new toys. I expect you'll have plenty of chances to play with that one. You find that Republic Noble fella and claim that first bounty, then hurry it on back here as fast as you can. I will. I will. Level 11. Oh, yeah, do I have any new abilities? I don't. What a shame. Let's go! Am I being racist putting on that voice? I mean, I wouldn't say Texans are race, necessarily. I mean, that's, I mean that's, that's a thought as well. I mean, I'm British. I'm guessing Americans are race as well, but it's like you don't, you, you don't really consider them. Well, I say you, you know, me, you know, because I'm British Ready myself. Also, I'll, I'll get to something else in a minute. Um, you don't... Seriously? Enjoy there we go. Stay. You know, me as a British person, I don't really seem to consider Americans as another race. Yet, I always consider, like, black people, Asian people, um, I don't know. Whatever, whatever races are there, I don't know. God, I know my races. Yeah, anyway, I always consider them a different race, but Americans, I just, I don't. Is that considered racist as well? Also, the other thing I was going to go into, I find it so hilarious how I get some comments from people saying, so Charlie, are you British? What do you think? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm British. I've been here my entire life, sadly. I mean, I didn't want to be born in the UK, but that's why I ended up being born. So, whatever. And I know what you're probably thinking. Charlie, why is it you didn't want to be born in the UK? Because crap things in the UK. I mean, I would prefer to have been born in Canada. I mean, Canada's a great place. I've never been, but I hear it's lovely down there. Like, every day. And then you come to the UK and you have politicians who just don't know how to run the country. You've got Brexit now. Uh, you've got the Queen who, I mean, what does she do apart from go to charity events? You can tell I'm not a patriot. Okay, Mako, let's split up and search for clues. Let's have you disappear. Let's pretend that's you've how actually... You want it. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's how I do want it. Let's pretend you're going to search for clues. Um, I'm guessing this is a clue. Investigate our attacker's data pad. Oh. Hi! Oh god, I shouldn't have put Mako away. I'm doomed! Okay, I'm not doomed. Right, now let's pretend, you know, I found something which I have and I'm calling Mako. Mako! 
Getting lonely? No, oh. I found a... Yeah, I found a clue. See? I'm amazing, aren't I? My dear Altaka, when I got your message, I could scarcely believe it. We have found each other after all these years. Oh, looks like a love letter from an Imperial noble, no less. Lady Grafton, I know. Pay attention, this may help us. Righto. It must have been the Force that brought you here to Drum and Curse, dear Altaka. As for your predicament, fear not. I have friends in high places, oh. and for the right price, they have agreed to help me. When the slaves attempt their pitiful revolution, a man will come to you dressed in rags. He will bring you to me. I shall say you are my missing brother. We will be Lord and Lady Dakar. I'm afraid I cannot get you off-world and back to your beloved family, but I promise to make your every moment here a joy. Our lifestyle will be the envy of all, and we'll attend parties at the Nexus Room every night. Be ready to join me, my love. Wait, so the lady is his lover, but now he's posing as her brother? That's disgusting. Sounds like the Nexus Room is where we'll find these weirdos. Okay. Also, I thought she was Lady Grafton. Because I remember... Back on the Sith Warrior, killing her? Or is that somebody who just looks like her? I don't know. You're sort of closed-minded, aren't you? Call me crazy, but I think people should be lovers or siblings. Make a choice and stick to it. Let's go meet this Lord and Lady Daka. Lead on, boss. It's not like they're actually siblings, Mako. I mean, I know... I don't know. He'll be posing as a brother, but... They're not actually brother and sister. The best part is, I can just quick travel to the cantina. Love it when things work out. Where thou is the Nexus Room? I guess the Nexus Room is through there. Okay, cool. Don't need to go upstairs. Oh, I should probably think about crew skills at some point. Oh, there, sir. Just as I said. That looks like her, all right. Bounty Hunter, I am Sergeant Warlax of the Imperial Navy. You are commanded to hand over all your weapons and gear immediately. You're a funny man, Sergeant. Think of that joke all by yourself. Don't get cute, off-world scum. Remember, you're an outsider here. I can shoot you just as easily as bring you in. Sergeant, Taro Blood here. Have you completed my little errand yet? Well then. Blood, you steaming pile of filth! Blast it! I told you not to call on this channel! Getting others to do your dirty work? That's just low. Oh, this is ridiculously tiresome. She's still alive? What is wrong with you, Sergeant? Uh, sir? Who's that guy? Blood. I'll talk to you later. Ignore the chatter, men. Let's take this hunter in. I don't know what's going on here, Sarge, but I know it stinks. Yeah. Either you cut us in on this deal, or we walk. Ah. Uh... Save your breath. You're dead. Defend yourselves, men! I mean, really? I should have started attacking her, attacking him immediately. Like, as soon as I saw Terror Blood. But no, I had to stall. And I had to wait for the dialogue option. Oh, wow, that was beautiful. Love when they all exploded. Alrighty! Go get my bounty. Talk to Lord Daka. Did you hear the com. Are you all dancing, but you didn't hear the commotion outside? Right. Also, same person, same person, same person. Hmm. Something doesn't seem right. I mean, they could be triplets. I guess that's the explanation we'll go with. Yes, may I help you with something? Well... Darling, please don't speak to that filthy vagabond. It's clearly not supposed to be here, and we shouldn't let ourselves look like we approve. Come, let us get a drink. Not much of a family resemblance between you and your, uh, brother. We, we, we had different mothers. Yes, that's right. We're only half-siblings. Uh, unless I'm misremembering. Stow it, darling. Just feel the smug knowledge radiate from her. We knew this might happen eventually. Oh, so yeah, I'm only now. so long you can keep dating your brother before something goes wrong. <laughs> so you know our little secret. What does an insignificant creature like you want? What would make you dare threaten the noble? Altaka's family put a bounty out for him. I'm just here to collect. 
My family? How can that be? I thought... You you told me I was trapped here, that I would have to forget my family, that this, this charade was the only way. Inside voice, darling. I may have exaggerated a bit, but hasn't it been nice here? The parties, the late nights, the intrigues and such? You witch! Keeping me here as your plaything when I could have been home with my sisters and dear mother. Oh, you can be such a whiny pain. It's a wonder your nobility. Let us make a new deal, bounty hunter. No deals. You give me Altaka now. Oh, stop testing my patience. The only reason you aren't dead is because I'd rather not cause a scene. Mm, too late for that. Should have thought of that before you became a Republic noble lover. Ouch. I'm getting very close to wanting you dead. Why? My darling, my lovely Altaka. Wouldn't you rather stay here with me than run home to your pathetic Republic family? What? Of course not. You treat me like a pet, and this planet is disgusting. In fact, I'd rather... Yes, yes, you've made your tiresome viewpoint clear. Then here is what I propose. I assume Al Tucker's family will pay less for just his body. Kill him, show me the slip, and I'll compensate you the difference. What? You wanted to kill me? I mean... Um... I can kill Lady Dacca. Yeah, kill Altaka's her. Altaka's right, lady. You're way too crazy to live. Defend me, my love. What? Are you insane? Yeah, she is. Alright. Uh, oh, don't worry, Dacca. I'll be killing you too. Just might as well kill everybody. Oh, where's she gone? She's disappeared! Oh, there she is. Alright, your turn. You killed her. Just like that? Yes, I did. She was evil and twisted, but I did love her once. Once. Not twice, not three times a lady. We met years ago on Alderaan. She was so dark and mysterious. And now she's dead. You can mourn her while you're in Carbonite. Oh, of course. Ah, so by killing her, I bypass the light side. Beautiful, I like that. Because, of course, if I froze him, it would have been light side. But I've been able to bypass light side by killing her and then... Yeah, now I can freeze him. Beautiful! I wonder if that can happen in the future. Gotta look out for things like that. Krista, I'm back. I got my bounty. I also killed my bounty's lover. Hey there, hunter. Competition out there is something crazy. A couple of hunters died in the jungles. Big Trandoshan got arrested by the Imperials. Boo you found yourself an unfindable Republic noble. His family was plenty generous with their live bounty. If this is a competition, why are there still credits on these jobs? First of all, gear and ammo ain't cheap. Second, the Great Hunt is mostly secret, so the more it looks business as usual, the better. I'm too busy Your second start. bounty's a bit of a mystery. Apparently, whoever's stacking the deck against you gonna keep right on stacking. Hardly surprising. What I got here is a classified red flag request from Imperial Command. No details, just flashy warnings and a contact. Admiral Fabal, Imperial Navy. I don't see what the big deal is. You haven't dealt much with Imperials, have you? They make huts look downright honest. Here's the slip. Fabal's in the city, not all that far a stroll. Go get him. Oh, so he's, he's just around the corner then. Oh, beautiful. Where in the city is he? He is there. Okay, well, I'll just take a quick travel to the cantina and that's that. Also, what did I just get? Uh, better shield. Oh, I should probably get rid of the uh, crystal in the shield. Yes, I need that and move that into in, 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 into there. Thank you. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Oh wait, I'm not a pirate, I'm a bounty hunter. This is the office of Admiral Frabal of the Imperial Navy. Do you have business here? I have a job slip slick. So what is that? Was that what he said in the, in in the in the in the in the parody? Anyway, um, get out of my face. Yeah. I am a lieutenant in the Imperial Navy. Address me with respect, or I will have you publicly flogged. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm very busy. I'm gonna shoot you in the head. I have a job slip from your boss, moron. Moron, that's it. I really couldn't care less what you. What's all that racket out there, soldier? There's a quarrelsome individual here, Admiral. Rather dirty, too. Quarrelsome? You're as weak as you are, stupid. I requested a mercenary from the Mandalorians. Send that person in immediately. Yes, sir. 
You may go in now. Next time? Bang. The Admiral is waiting. <laughs> you should definitely watch the um, Star Wars parody. It makes us seem this the scenes a lot a lot funnier. I mean it's funny already, you know, having him being all Go right in, please. Oh, oh! Now you're being polite to me, being all. <laughs> anyway, come in, mercenary. I apologise if my secretary caused you grief. He was of low birth, and his intelligence reflected. I'm afraid many of our imperial soldiers are hopeless with delicate tasks. This is, of course, why I asked for a professional. If it's delicate you want, it's delicate you'll get. Bow, bow. I have Sorry. every faith in the Mandalorian Enclave's ability to get things done discreetly. My daughter has become something of a liability to me. I want you to kill her. That's something you don't hear every day. Then I'll assume you're newly arrived to Droman Cass. Things work a bit differently here. My daughter was born Force-sensitive and trained to be Sith. A great honor for our family. Unfortunately, my daughter's master is one Lord Grathen, a madman who is now disgraced in the eyes of the Dark Council. Why not just get her a new master? It's outside of my control. The Sith manage their own affairs, the rest of us merely suffer the consequences. If Lord Grathen's compound is raided and my daughter captured or killed, every member of her family will suffer. Even you? This is Sith politics. In the best case scenario, I lose my rank and position. In the worst... You get squashed like a bug? An inelegant way to phrase it, but yes. Lord Grathen is a paranoid madman. His compound is built to withstand a siege. But a lone infiltrator will take them by surprise. My daughter is somewhere inside Lord Grathen's compound. Her name is Veretta. You will know her as she resembles me closely. But I won't be alone. I'll have Mako. I'll handle this. Quiet and quick. Ah! You know, for a fact, Hang it's not on, be I've been that. reading some data. Turns out Renegade Sith Lord followers rack up death marks like crazy. Lord Grathen's top people all have prices on their heads. It'd be a shame to let those bounties go to waste. And we might need those extra credits to gear you up for the big melee. Remember, discretion is essential. Do not let yourself be captured. Good luck. Alright. Oh, it's a bonus mission as well. Okay. Uh, should I do them? Could do. But we're going to leave it here for now because I've got food on the way and I'm hungry. Uh, probably a short episode, but eh, next episode we'll finish off German cast. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. You have your assignment. My daughter is inside Grathen's compound. She just wants a little bit of a recap. Say goodbye, Mako. Following your lead, as always. Indeed. And I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.